would shut me down. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So tech would like shut her down. And so then she wasn't even open to like trying it because if you guys ever felt like that, where like, you're like, okay, I can't figure this out. Like, I'm not even gonna like, I can't, I can't figure it out at all. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Drives me crazy. <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm going to go live in my group just so then they have an option to join and then I'll get off the live in a minute. Okay. Uh, Sounds I'm, good. I'm going to turn on my story too, actually, even though I'm not even a story person, but you know what? This is Vicky's birthday. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> Happy birthday, Vicky. I'm sorry. I was Thank late. You. We had an ant invasion over here. So we were busy just dealing with the, the onslaught. So <laughs> uh, well, that's all right. Sherry and over there is, down, I was like, Oh, Vicky's okay. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry is having an issue with water at her house. So, oh. <laughs> okay. So we are here. Okay. We're just, I'm going out of my comfort zone and it's going public on my Facebook with the story. So I don't know what that's going to do, but we're just going to, we're just going to do it because it's Vicky's birthday. All right. Okay. Here we go. So is it Vicky's birthday? Am I? Is it Vicky's birthday? <laughs> so I am. Okay. So I'll just start over because I forgot. Okay. The word. We're having do over today. Yeah. Doing over. So let me just make sure we're in the collaboration group. So anyone that wants to see us can see us. Um, and we are not, this is so funny. Okay. Well, yeah. anyone that's on wherever I'm posting right now, <laughs> we have a stand up and stand out party and it's the very first one for Vicky pool. So there yeah. you go. <laughs> now I'm going into the collaboration group. This is so funny. It's like every, like, I think this is in honor of you, Vicki, because it's like every tech issue that could happen today <laughs> is happening. And you know what? We're not stopping. That's right. That's right. Well, you know, I went live in my group the other day and when I couldn't find it in the, in the group to go in and add some stuff to it. And then I found out I'd gone live in a totally different group and I went live in on my personal page too. And it was like, I had no idea. So I was like, okay. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not good. <laughs> well, and I that's feel scary. like this is kind of like a good stand up and stand out moment too, because, oh, there we go. Private group. There we go. Now we're good. Because, you know, like when you're not afraid of like, I'm just going to say it for me right now, looking dumb, you know, or like people judging you, like then it's okay to try these things because like, there's no fear of that. Like what's going to stop most people from doing the thing, you know, it's going to be, uh, you know, making some kind of like mistake. Right. And so maybe there's a point to all this, but okay, we're going to do this again. Round two. Okay. We're only going to do this live thing for like a minute. Okay. Hey guys, okay. we're having tech issues, but I did not want you to miss. <laughs> we are doing a stand up and stand out party. And originally Vicky was going to offer it only to her community, but I was like, you know what? It's your birthday. And I thought it was a good opportunity to also share it on the collaboration group, but then I was unable to share the event. <laughs> and so uh, I'm going to put this live down in a minute, but wanted to, I'll check it in a second and then give you guys the Zoom link if anyone is on and wants to join. But basically um, I was just telling the people on the Zoom. So hi, you guys, I don't know. Can I show you? I don't even know how to do that, but Zoom. There we go. No, it's not even showing it. Anyway, I can't do anything today. <laughs> but uh, basically, Vicky's birthday, she's doing her first stand up and stand out party. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Stacey Lauren. I'm the host of the Do The Thing communities and the podcast. And then I was just telling everyone on the Zoom that Vicky and I met a year and a few months ago today. And basically, uh, I got to see her overcome all of this amazing stuff with um, technology. We were just saying how you had like tech blocks where you wouldn't, you know, like even want to try. And now it's funny, a year later, you, um, you're the tech guru, like in the do the thing <laughs> community, she is literally the one that will like sit with people so patiently and help them with like StreamYard or any kind of like you know, tech thing. And so, um, and now her podcast has over a hundred episodes. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> and she has this amazing community of people that are like, like loving the things that she does. And so, um, so yeah, so this is her birthday. She's basically marking it with the stand up and stand out party. And I don't know, Vicki, if you want to kind of share what this means to you to be doing it today and like what this is for people that might be watching that want to join either now or another time because we're doing it last minute in this group but I'm excited that we're we're all here on the zoom together <laughs> yeah well the significance to me is that you know I I have a birthday every year like all everyone and I this year 
Tim, I know you skip a year, but that's okay. <laughs> but the thing for me was, it was like, what do I want for my birthday? And of course, I'm going live in my community. And I started thinking, you know, that I really wanted to gift others. And when we were in San Diego, I'm seeing you in your TED Talk, Jamie suggested one of the things that might be fun to do in my group was to do the um, the two minute intro thing and let give some people some um, some suggestions and a safe place to land for just experimenting with it. And I thought, well, that would be the perfect time to do that would be for my birthday mm -hmm. um, because it's a gift to me to actually have people to recognize that it is a safe place to be and to to do this together. So um, and I apologize to everybody that watches the replay that I had the snafu with all the the links being broken and everything. I don't know. So. Um, but it is what it is. And so anybody that's watching the replay can actually participate a little bit later. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> you know, what's so cool about that. And I kind of mentioned a piece of this earlier, I think before we hit record, but, um, like in the past when that happened, like, cause literally even like on my side, everything went wrong on your side, but everything that I normally am able to do easily, cause I do how many lives, I never have an issue streaming and, uh, like everything that went wrong, went wrong. And then you didn't stop. Like, would you have maybe stopped in the past and this time? Oh, like heck yeah. <laughs> if I had found out that the link wasn't accurate, I would have probably put a post in there and said, we're going to have to do this another day while I tried to figure out something else. I certainly wouldn't have jumped through thinking, you know, whoever can show up will show up. You know, I, I, I definitely I would have thing. backed off. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. I yeah. said, hey, this isn't working. Uh, see you later. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah, so, oh, drives you crazy. Yeah. yeah, so good. Well, I'm going to say goodbye to this live. So um, come join us on the Zoom if you would like. I see some of you already are here. I'm glad, Neil, you made it. So exciting. And Delisa's here. Very cool. So um, feel free, go in the comments and join the link. If not, join Vicky's group at Stand Up and Stand Out for her birthday and wish her happy birthday. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with you guys. All right, so what do you think? Um, so Vicky, just so you know, so her story like keeps continuing because, and, and I think does ever, I think not everyone knows. So maybe you can give a glimpse of like who you are too, for people that don't know Vicky, but like, um, the way that like is what's happening for her now <laughs> is she literally um is expanding in some of the coolest ways, right. From, from being able to, um, have the hundred podcast episodes and more this community to getting joint venture partners, um, to helping people with like networking events. She just helped me with my TEDx talk. I got really stuck in my head, uh, right before. And she did this amazing hypnosis session, um, actually multiple and heard 30 messages of mine, uh, to help me get back <laughs> into myself and help me find my voice again in that talk. And so, um, Vicky's just, uh, continuing to expand and, the stand up and stand out like group is literally like her, <laughs> you know, this like evolution of what she's been uh, doing. And so um, I thought this would be a great time maybe for you to share like a little bit about what you do. And then for those of you that know Vicky, um, like Allison and Kimmy, and I think I saw Wendy was here. Um, it would be great if you guys just give like, a, oh, Lynn's here. Hey, Lynn. Um, Sandy. Like, like Sandy a couple. here too. Oh, yeah. good. okay, great. Um, and yeah, just give, oh yeah. So yes, that's great, Sandy. Cause I don't know you cause you're in Vicky's group. Amazing. That's great. I'm thinking of the people that I know, know her. Give okay, just like a couple, yeah. Give like a couple minutes of like a happy birthday, kind of like what you love about Vicky. And this is actually part of a stand up and stand out strategy because just even we're going to start that with just talking on the zoom. Right. And a lot of times, like some of you know this about me, one of my favorite things with do the thing has been like just getting people that have never had their zoom camera on, on, because that's where people start. It starts with this zoom camera, you know, and then it goes to the TEDx talk or the world's, you know, speech speak <laughs> that you're doing for 80,000 people. Uh, right. Yes. Above so, and beyond. Yeah. So, so yeah. So those of you that know her, let's just, um, well, actually first Vicki, tell us a little bit about you and then we'll have everyone that knows you just say a little happy birthday wish about what they like about you. <laughs> okay. Well, um, as Stacy said, my name is Vicki Poole. And the, the thing that um, I, I like to start my story with 
starting my podcast because there's so much before that. But I think this is where I feel like my life really changed because I wanted to start a podcast because I felt like I had spent my whole life filtering my voice. I knew who to talk to about this, who to act like with this. And I was all the time recreating me depending on who I was around. And I got to this place where it was like, well, I don't even know who the heck I am anymore, you know? And um, so I had been listening to podcasts and I decided, well, that would be the thing because I, then I have a place to speak and I don't see people or anything like that. So I don't have to hear whether they like it, they don't like it or any of that stuff. And so I didn't know how to do any of that. So I avoided it for a while. And then Stacy had a start your podcast challenge and I did that challenge. And that's when my, um, my podcast was born. And I do say that that is the day that changed my life, not only because of Stacy, because she's amazing, but because I was able to um, start this podcast. And like she said, I have over a hundred episodes now, and I have met some of the most amazing people throughout that process and learned so much about myself and my ability to, to stand up and stand out, so to speak, because um, before I could talk to just about anybody, but it wasn't always me that was doing the talking. It was what I thought they wanted to hear. So it's a very different space than I'm in now. You're muted. Because we're just continuing on with this, this day. Oh my God, it's so funny. I love, I love how I get to model, you know, like doing the thing with you guys. Um, so yeah, I'd love to have you guys. Oh yeah, and Oswald's here too. And Wendy, I love your background. That's amazing. You get the background award, I think. Um, yeah, so those of you that know Vicky or even have seen her online, um, I'd love to just have you just share like maybe how you know her, have you seen her and like, like a, a minute of like, or it doesn't have to be a minute, but just something that you love. About. Maybe we should have them raise their hands right. so we don't end up having people talking over each other. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So raise your either virtual hand, Kimmy's first. Okay. And then you raise your zoom hand next. Thanks Allison. So Vic, Kimmy's first, then Allison's second. Anyone else that wants to chat, just feel free to raise your zoom hand. It's uh, where is it? It's under react. Yeah. React. And then yeah. it says raise hand. Okay, cool. All right. Kimmy. <laughs> okay, so met Vicky through your group, Do the Thing. And happy birthday, Vicky. I hope today Thank is you. amazing for you. You're awesome. Already is. So, what do I love about Vicky? She's amazing. The hair is awesome. I do love it. Um, so genuine, so caring, so inspirational. That's what I love. And every day while I'm at work, if I can't join, I will listen to the replay or I will listen uh, to the uh, affirmations. And it does help in my business group because I do teach um, classes now with my business group at First Fitness. And so I use those affirmations in those journal prompts. And it's amazing what it's done. It's made these women think, you know, because nice. we go for not just for the weight loss, but more for like the uh, edification the camaraderie so that's what I do and it's amazing it just isn't you've been quite pro, uh, profound positive impact on my life along with Stacy and our family I call it our family because it's basically what we're like you know and I'll never forget Easter Sunday <laughs> for you and me Vicky <laughs> <laughs> and the word hemorrhoids will just never never it, it will always it's a medical term i'm in the medical field but it's been something between vicky and me <laughs> yeah. so yeah and i'll tell you what that was the most interesting day of my life but i was like wow you know um people and there there's the positive you handled it really well Oh, I probably would have lost it. About. Yeah. <laughs> so much. Yeah. Thanks, Kimmy. It's amazing. And yeah, it is definitely a family. When we all got to meet in person uh, for the TED Talk, it was like uh, kind of like reunion, which was yeah. I can't you know, I can't wait yeah. to hear the TED Talk yeah. or to Thank know you. more about it. Thank you. Okay, Allison, you are up. <laughs> I am up. So I am new to the uh to the Vicky fan club, uh, but it's uh <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'm definitely enthusiastic because I met her through engaging with you, Stacy, in this audience accelerator and in the finding your voice and all these wonderful things. And Vicki has been so generous with her time, with her expertise and with all that. And I have my little tarot thing and she came on not once, but twice. And she's welcome any other time because I did a tech stupid thing and I hit the wrong button and got rid of the recording, but it had bad sound anyway. And we were going to re-record it anyway, blah, blah, blah. But I just want to say that she's, uh, but, but yesterday when we were doing this re-recording, um, it was so interesting to see what a beautiful person she is just through and through, because you can see that also with cards. And um, But she's also just on the business and practical side and on the, uh, she's super thorough. She's super reliable. She's super responsible. What she says she'll do, she does. What she reminds you of, she reminds you of. What she tells you about is true and needs to get done, you know? And so it's really her insight and her, um, determination and kindness are the things that I really love and appreciate about Vicki Poole. Oh, hey, thank you. I love your birthday, Vicki. I know, <laughs> me too. <laughs> and yay, Oswald. <laughs> oh, I think you're on mute. Uh-oh. You still there? Oswald. Da -da. Oh, I still see you. Can you hear us? Ask to unmute. Let me try that. How's that? Yeah. Yay! Yeah, I can. I can hear you. Okay, cool. Hi. Oh, it muted good. again. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Good. Good afternoon, everybody. Vicky, happy Vicky, happy birthday. Thank you. And, and I know Vicky through Stacy, but the way, the whole like do the thing universe is a <laughs> very large is a is a very vast place. <laughs> And in the in the short time of it, I I I've caught Vicky's posts for her affirmation her affirmation videos. I admit, like I like the timing isn't always like there because to like do it all. I I admit, but I just chime in chime in when I can. Yeah, it's so good. And it's great because like every time that you guys and whatever level you're at, right? Like we talked and I love Allison that you put that in the chat with uh, like from turning on your Zoom camera to TED Talk because it literally happens um, within like the shortest amount of time. Like even Oswald, like I remember like you recently did improv, right? And you yeah. have a, a, a book about poems and that might have, I don't know where that was in the journey, but there's just so much that can happen in such actually, a short that, time. Actually, Actually, regarding that, I might as well say this right here. Like, the book just went live today. Actually, oh, thank you. It, nice. Yeah, like it was. I know I said it was not going to be due till early October, but the way the world like runs faster than that, the world runs really fast. And just got the magic email from Kindle Direct Publishing earlier this afternoon at the that the paperback version of my book just went live today. Oh my gosh, incredible. Congratulations. Yeah, Thank so you. congratulations. Yes. I wasn't, plan wasn't planning on like, but I'm like, I didn't want to wait till the proof copy arrived at the end of the week. Like I just saw it and I'm like, I might as well at least get myself prepped for the inevitable announcement of that when I have the co proof copy in my hands. Yeah, I love that. Beautiful. Yeah, book birthday. So good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kim, I'm really, you're really curious what you're going to say. <laughs> what is it? Oh, my and turn? I, and it's I, your I, turn. I, yeah. And I want to prepare the people that um that don't know Vicky yet um and, and don't have the 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 and you're here now. And I I will I'll have you share. Um uh so so this is a do the thing strategy. What I'm doing right now, just so you guys know, is when you first share about something that's like, um, like, well, for someone else, that's like easier sometimes than doing your own thing. Right. And, um, and then also for the people that maybe don't know her yet, I'll just have you share a reflection of just how you're feeling, just even being in the space. Um, because that's like an easier way to start. And for those of you that aren't ready yet, um, it's okay. But I just wanted to mention, we want everyone to kind of like do this first and then we'll, we'll go into the 
to the other part of it as well. The business podcast, whatever, any a bookkeeping business, whichever thing you want to share about. So, okay, Neil. <laughs> so what happened to Tim? I thought Tim was supposed to talk. Oh yeah. About. Sorry, Tim. Uh, thank you. Tim, you got to stand up for yourself, yeah, bud. I know. Yeah, thank you. Stand <laughs> up and stand out. I don't know what happens. We're just going to add this to the, thank you, Vicki. Yeah. <laughs> just going to keep adding it. This will be the yeah, thing, like wrong post. That's what this will be. Is it my turn yet? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> exactly. Close yep. this. Thank you. Okay. That's, <laughs> you know, I, I hear uh, Vicky saying there, and again, happy birthday about, oh, I didn't know what to say, and I was quiet and everything. I've never found that in a woman. <laughs> we just proved it here. Scientific proof. All right. You can do a <laughs> TED Talk on this little thing here <laughs> there you have it exactly uh oswald uh real quick i know this about vicky but uh could you give the name of your book down here in the chat sure. well sure. if it's on amazon we'll all go in there and give you a, uh, a good review. i'll put the name i'll put it in the chat is it going to be on amazon yes it is okay we'll drive you to a uh, 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 amazon bestseller thank yeah. you guys <laughs> you're welcome Remember, a man brought that up to you. <laughs> Women, they just want to talk. All right, then. Uh, how do I know, Vicky? I don't know her at all. And uh, now I regret coming on here. I don't know if I even want to know her now. Uh, you know, but uh, yeah, she's full of energy. I do like that part right there. I like her necklace or uh, white sweater there. Looks like she's ready to go to the library, uh, you know, and run it. You know. <laughs> What else am I supposed to say? Oh, about me, uh, everybody on here has uh, mentioned affirmations. And uh, I'd like for y'all to go and watch my TED Talk, Affirmations and the Road to Recovery. Oh, okay. okay. You can find it on your bookshelves and Amazon. Okay, it's YouTube. Y'all know that. Yeah. Uh, you need to get the link and put it in the chat. Yeah, I'm pu I'm pulling it up right now. Okay. Okay, thank you. And then uh, Samsung uh, Kimmy, uh, you know, you talk about reading tarot cards, man, you could do one here. This is, everybody's out of control. You know, I think, we, you know, nobody took the Ridland this morning. I can see that right now. <laughs> All right. I, I think that's about my time, unless you want me to say something else. So good. Yeah, we probably, <laughs> we probably will. We'll probably will, but there's still time left. So hang yeah, on. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Neil, we're excited to hear uh, from you. So right now we're sharing just like about Vicki, what you see of her, what you love about her and uh, all the amazing things or how you know her, whatever feels good to you. It doesn't, it could be any and all of those things. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Vicki. Happy birthday, Chaz. Any Thank more you. healthy birthday. And hi to everyone, <laughs> yes. Um. Well, I met Vicky about a year and a half or more in the initial stage with Stacy. So I've known Vicky. I've been hearing her and seeing her for, for a bit. So I, I know a lot about her. And she's a fun loving, energetic person that I love, you know. And most recently, I think I am um, last week, Tuesday, I did a, um, I was her guest on her podcast. So it was an amazing conversation. And thanks again, Vicky. And thanks to everyone. And Cheers again. Many more healthy and happy birthday. All the best and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So good. Okay. And I see some new people joined and Charletta, I'm excited you're here. That's awesome. Um, and so uh, feel free to, um, and Sandy, are you, did you want to um, chat next? Um, also, or Wendy first, before we move on to the uh, others? putting you on the spot. <laughs> and so, yeah, anyone that wants to now just either share just like your reflections, just about being here in this space. And then we'll, and then we'll each get like uh, two minutes to share about like a, like an elevator pitch for your business. It could be um, like you want a date and you're like, you know, introducing yourself to a date. Like it could be a networking meeting. And the reason why, and Vicki, you could share why this is good for you. For me, what I love about this. And when Jamie mentioned it, when we were in San Diego about this being a good idea for your group, 
I love it because I remember not too long ago, I would go to these networking meetings. Like it wasn't even, I would never even consider speaking. That was like foreign and against my like everything. But even when I would go to a networking meeting to promote my staffing company that I had, um, I'd be like sitting there and everyone would go and I couldn't even think my brain was so anxious <laughs> with like what I was going to say that I like couldn't even hear what anyone else said because of the anxiety <laughs> that I had in my, literally my arms would be sweating. And so that's what I love about just like kind of just starting this way where we're able to just share how we're feeling. Cause that's a much easier way to just kind of like be in the space and do it. And then what I've noticed is whether today is the day you do your, your pitch for your business or who you are or whatever it is. Um, if Vicki does another one of these, again, we guys could vote on that if you want another one, but, um, then from there, um, it, you get better and better with the group. And then as new people join, it's kind of fun. Then you're the ones that are like, well, welcome them in. Right. So it might've been hard for you to turn the zoom on in the beginning. And then all of a sudden now you're the welcoming committee, you know, for like the new, new people coming in. And Vicki, I know you have, we have similar stories on this. Do you want to share like for you why you're while you're exciting. Oh, good. Sherry, I'm glad. Yeah, that's, that's exactly where it was. <laughs> well, for me, this, I'll, I'll be honest, this is still something that um, I struggle with every now and then because I got so far away from doing some of these live events because of COVID and everything that it was all online. And, you know, it's a lot easier to me to do it on an online space than it is in a personal space. And so like I have a networking event coming up next week that I'm going to be going to. And before I even decided to, to schedule this and everything, I was thinking, oh my gosh, how do I, what do I say? What do I say? And then am I supposed to be directing them to this? What am I supposed to? And so I was going through all the stuff then um, just for going to this event. And I don't get nervous with the sweating and all that stuff, but I do get a little anxiety where it's almost like I, I almost feel at tears when I begin speaking and um, when it's in a space that I don't know people and like this event I'm going to, I don't know a soul. And so, but I know after doing this with everybody today, I'm going to show up in such a much better place. So that's what I'm hoping for everybody. Yeah. I love that you said that. Um, it's, like what these, so I was also the person that like wouldn't join. I don't know if you guys all know Toastmasters. I wouldn't even join Toastmasters because I was like scared of like going, um, you know, to something like that. And then what I realized was like a lot of times, like people that would be at Toastmasters, they would be um, people that even wanted like English was their second language and they're just trying to get better with the language. It's not all for these like TEDx speakers, right? It's for people that are, um, that are like, all over the place in terms of what they're wanting. Maybe they want to do better at their job, right? Or they want to promote their business or, or whatever it is. And so we have this vision in our mind that all these people are experts, you know, um, that, uh, but it, it's not true, you know, like, like we all are, and it, like, whether we're experts or not, it's like, we're always learning and we want to evolve. And so that's what this is, is Vicky's now created a safe space for everyone to be able to, to do that. And so um, when you know where those safe spaces are, what's great is that you could say, oh, Vicki, I had your, your, if you're in her community, you could say, Vicki, I need help. I'm going to a networking event, you know, and then she either can help you with hypnosis or maybe she's doing another one of these parties, you know, that you're able to join and then practice whatever the thing is that you're going to do. And, and then each time you get better and better. So, okay. So who would like to share just any reflections before we go on to the kind of like business pitching part of this. Um, I'd love to have at least a couple people just kind of share your feelings if you're open to it. Yay! <laughs> Cherry, so excited. Hi. <laughs> hey. Okay, this is my first time meeting you, of course, Stacy. Um, even though I am in the challenge that you were doing with uh, Margie in Fast and Easy. Um, being in groups like this make me extremely nervous. My anxiety, you know, goes up and up and I can understand the sweating of the arms and, and all of that. Um, but I thought since you had put that out there for us to join today, I thought I need more practice and I need to get used to doing this. And if I don't, my business is going to stay at a standstill and, I'm not going to get anywhere, but I enjoy meeting new people. And 
Thank you for letting me be here today. And again, happy birthday, Vicki. Thank you. And so thank you for being here. Yes, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm so glad. And, and just so you guys know, it was like a last minute thought where I decided to invite uh, Margie's community. And do you want to just kind of describe what you're going through with, with her challenge? So basically my friend Margie is using my like find your voice challenge in her community and has put her own challenge with it where she's helping them maybe just kind of share a little bit about what it is. Cause yeah. it's kind of cool the way she's like embedded it into, to help you guys. It is. Um, we, it is a networking challenge. It's, it's a connecting with people challenge. So like every day we have to connect with three different people, reach out to them. And we also have to do dares that Stacy gives us, um, which we could either write them out, um, speak them out or do a video on those. And this is, the group is for bookkeepers also. So that's what it's geared towards. But it's kind of just, I think, getting us more comfortable and being able to get out there and meeting new people, meeting the people that we want to, you know, have in our community. And so I made sure on my first couple of dares that I did, that I did video them, even though I'm not used to doing it. I noticed a lot of people were just typing in what she wanted us to do. Um, but I thought I'm going to just get out there and do it. And, um, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm behind on a lot of it because I joined late. Mm -hmm. So I'm still trying to catch up with anything. So I'm not very far ahead, but that's basically what it is, is trying to, and she's having us worked in, working just linked in right now, trying to make contacts there and then reaching out to people, um, letting them know what we do without actually you know, advertising to them. Mm -hmm. So good. I love that. Yeah. And I love how she's using find your voice as a way to like increase the confidence and visibility. Yes. Right? Yeah. It's so good. Thank you so much. And Tim, you don't get two turns, Tim. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Tim, That's more time know. for you to talk. Is it? <laughs> so, uh, uh, anyway, you you mentioned uh, Toastmasters there, and I'm a strong believer in that. But, uh, and I was a member and took it for many years because before I went to Toastmasters, I couldn't give a silent prayer in a phone booth. So uh, <laughs> it it will help you come out, uh, and and you know it's a safe place, positive feedback. So yeah. I'd encourage anybody that has a speaking roles in their life go to some Toastmasters. Again, if you have a TED talk coming up. Take that TED Talk to different uh, uh, Toastmasters Club and give it there. It, uh, you know, you have a real audience right there. Okay. So that's my plug for Toastmasters. My check will be in the mail before long. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, uh, uh, again, back to these tarot card readings, I think this was just something odd that a woman's water broke today and then it's Vicky's birthday. But again, the, the water breaking was a water pipe. So there's an example of just kind of like, misuse of words and getting the wrong uh, message across so be clear on your communications all right so I'm good out. you're awesome all right so Nikki, <laughs> how do you want to do this do you want to just give everyone like two minutes to basically share about their again this is our first time so you guys are our, our inaugural uh stand up and stand out party like how fun is that name you know it's so fun. And thanks to Jamie. I'm sure she'll watch the replay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Canada, she flew out to San Diego, gave the idea. And now um, who knows? Yeah. So maybe do you have any thoughts on how this could? Oh, D oh, sorry, Delisa. I don't see it. Yeah. Go ahead before I continue on. Yeah. Hi, Delisa. Good no, to see sorry. you. Sorry. I'm on my phone. I was sitting here. I'm on my phone and my reactions aren't the same as my laptop. I, <laughs> oh, no I apologize. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to say, because um, happy birthday, Vicky. And you. um. Also, being on her podcast and just knowing Vicky, it, it takes you out of your comfort zone. Like being with, being around her, like you can't stay the same and she won't allow you to stay the same. <laughs> so it's actually really good. So even the journal prompts and, and everything else, you know, during the day, it's a, it's a, it's a great way to, you know, to, to start the day and to think about, you know, what you're going to do 
you know, during the day instead of just getting busy in the morning is it it's actually really nice. So thank you. Thank so you, good. Delisa. Love that. So what do you think, Vicky? So um I'm thinking that that would probably be good, but maybe we could um if there's people that are confident with what it is and they just need a little tweak, maybe kind of de decide who wants to do that and who's needing like I don't know what the heck to say um, so that we know which way to, to go with people. Yeah, that's great. So yeah, who's in the, um, do you want to just raise hands then? Like who's in the, what, I don't know what the heck to say. <laughs> yeah. Who, who's, who's in that place? Yeah. Do you guys want to raise hands? So Kimmy and then Sherry, I think you had your hand raised. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, and then who, who else is in that camp? Um, so would, and then, and then maybe raise your hand if you know what you want to say. Like, so that would be good. Your, your virtual hand. I wish I could do a poll in here. That'd be good. Actually, that'd be a good poll to do later in your group, Vicki. Mm -hmm. Oh so, yeah. Um, okay. So Oswald, are you in the, I know what I want to say or in the, I'm not sure what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm actually kind of somewhere in the, somewhere That's in the middle, actually. In the middle. Okay. okay. Cool. Yeah. And this is what's great. I love it. So I've, I've mentioned this too, is like um, <laughs> when I, and actually Sherry, this is actually a funny story. When I was first uh, telling people even about what I wanted to do with Margie's company, with Find Your Voice, and I want to eventually embed it into companies and have them offer it to their clients, um, you know, through incorporating uh, like their own stuff and, and use it that way. When I first told the person that I was telling that story, it, the guy didn't understand anything what I was saying because I only had like four minutes to speak and I was actually like completely like shut down, you know, by like what I was saying because he didn't understand it. And then after Margie talked to me for like hours, you know, like so I could explain hours long about what I was doing. And so that just shows like how good it is when you have people or a space like this to be able to like say these ideas, you know too. So maybe what we'll do then is, what do you think, Vicki? We'll just give everyone like two minutes just to say what they even want to talk about. And then if you know what your pitch is, then it, this could be like you're on a date and they're like, who are you and what do you do? This could be like, you have a business and I want you to join my business. This is my, this is what I do. It could be something about like Delise is an author. It could be something about your, your book or your one woman show that you want to write. Neil has a pet business, right? So it could be something about that. So why don't you guys start it off with, um, and Vicki, let me know what you think. And we're going to actually have the timer um, really strong. So then the time doesn't go too crazy, but um, we'll, we'll have the timer for two minutes and then we'll like have to cut it off in two minutes. Um, is that sound yeah, good? It'll be like, yeah, yeah. So for the, <laughs> the one time in my life, I'm going to have to be timed. Yeah. So Oswald, I feel like you should go first. So you're going to say, I'm going to set the timer. You're going to say what the thing is, and then you're going to have two minutes to like, to do whatever it is. Does everyone understand those instructions? Can I can I say something oh, before please. we start though? Please. Um, so <laughs> before we start, because I know I had put a post in the group about what was something that was holding people back from being able to introduce themselves. And I know Oswald um, was gracious to put in something um, that was a problem for him. And he said that sometimes the words come out um, of his mind faster than they come out of the spoken word. And so I just wanted to uh, acknowledge you for saying that and letting us be part of helping you with that. Because to me, the best thing is to just slow down as you're talking. Because if you've ever heard anyone who is talking that the, maybe English is not their first language, they have to stop and uh, and say things in order to get their thoughts to connect with the language. <laughs> and so I think if you can just kind of look at it, maybe it would be helpful to look at it as that, is that um, you just go a little bit slower and it's okay to stumble just a little bit. Does, is that helpful, oh, Oswald? It, 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 it is. Yeah, okay. that, 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 this, what, like the whole like scat like this is what for example this is why i do not like listen like when i my spoken word videos i post on my instagram feed i do not listen to them like deliberately because it's like this is why like the whole like i start like like skittering like 
Yeah, it's. So if you if you feel comfortable and you want to go ahead and what how did you say, Stacy, we were going to do it? Hearing you talk, it makes me think. Um, I'm gonna give uh, and let me know, Vicky, if you like this. You guys will have and and just so you know, future stand up and stand out parties, there will be more time to like do the like this piece. Oh, the timer went off. <laughs> just kidding. Um, it'll be more time to do this piece. Uh, it's just we wanted to go through the the intro and what we're doing and the birth sure. and all that stuff. So this is just a we're just testing this right now to see like what to do next time, basically, and like what how what you guys like from it. So I kind of like what you just said though. I'm like. Technically, you have two minutes to either like pitch your thing or you could say what you've been struggling with. So then we can like you could just at least say it out loud because that's just any time you're getting an opportunity to speak in front of a group. That's you. You're literally saying who you are, because just so you guys know, like do the thing for those of you that know, like you guys know this for anyone that doesn't like the reason why do the thing took off so much is because I am comfortable <laughs> reflecting on my feelings and because I'm comfortable. And that's regardless of what I'm doing, whether like, even if you have a bookkeeping business and you're able to share like what has held you back with bookkeeping and why, or whatever it is, like any kind of reflection, people are getting bonded to you because they're not buying your business, they're buying you, right? And so just by you being able to share your feelings, but starting with a safe space, that's a much easier way um, to do it. So I think like either way is good. And I just noticed Jean's here. So we're, we're taking two minutes to take turns and you either will have two minutes to share like what has been holding you back just so Vicky knows, you know, you're in her community. She can support you guys through that. Um, and then, um, and then, or you're saying your, your thing. Okay. Does that sound good? Okay, cool. So raise your hand. If you want to turn, we're going to do Oswald first. Um, and then, uh, we'll go a little bit longer, uh, today. Is that okay? Do you have to go right away? Vicky? No, I'm good. Okay, cool. All right. Oswald, I am setting the timer. All right. So, hey, so yes, I'm when I'm not not rescheduling cases for an agency here in New York City. I am a writer and a po I'm a writer and a poet. I do primarily I foc primarily I fo focus on I post my piece po post my <clears throat> post my pieces primarily to my Instagram feed at Oswald Perez eight five. But I also have my own website and a Substack page, which I use to go as a space for longer for for longer pieces. And at least once a week, I try to try try spoken try sp try my hand at spoken word poetry, and I spread it all and I put it all 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 the other social media platforms, TikTok, YouTube, like you name it, chances are you're going to find me somewhere along the way. So good. Okay, good. We're doing this great, you guys, because that was amazing. Good job. And I don't know if you put you, your I link for your, yeah, I don't know if you put the link for your book in, but I, I love to I, make a question. I'm um, probably going to have, I don't know, like, I'll put, I'll put it, I'll dig it up and look, put it in the, okay. I'll put it, but I gotta go because my lunch break is almost over. Okay, thanks for joining. Sorry. I'm so glad you. Yeah, guys. thank you, and thank you for going first. You were good. Yeah, thank I'm, you. I'm guys. gonna jump I'm in, Oswald. To... Consider reciting as part of your pitch. Consider reciting one of your poems. Say, just start with Ooh, one of your poems I that'll really that. capture people. We'll be like, what is that? And then you'll say, I'm Oswald Parrot. You can find me on this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing. Every week, I go further with spoken word. I'm a poet out of there I you know that. i'm a writer and a poet and 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 you can like you know memorize your thing and take it at the pace you want to and then just capture people and then tell them who you are and get out of there <laughs> great advice allison thank you that's really great thank, i love that thank you guys i hope you guys have a great rest of the call like it thank was you. nice thanks for thank the you invite, oswald Vicky. for coming once again happy birthday Aww. thank you <laughs> Bye, everyone. So, Allison, you're next, and Charletta is after you. And feel free to raise your hands if you would like to go uh, take a turn doing your two-minute either what is what has been getting in your way, just to, to talk or reflections, or two minutes about your business or whatever it is you're wanting to promote. So, okay, Allison, you're up. You got two minutes. I have good advice, but I'm going to see if I can take it here. Um, I'm not sure when he's coming, but you can talk to me. And 
So uh, my name is Allison Pickering, and I have for more than 40 years been studying esoteric things and spiritual things, and I'm a fun teacher, and I'm running a little community where we study esoteric things together. In tandem with that, people find what is their thing, and they learn to express through it, and they um, we use tarot as a tool and Kabbalah as a tool, and it's really fun and powerful. We provide a community to practice it with. We have modules of classes for people who want to go deep, and then we do events and parties who, for people who just want to keep it fun and just experience all the synchronicity. I have a show on YouTube called Tarot Flow Show. I've been lucky enough to have Vicky on now twice because she's so generous. And uh, we've I've got about 40 shows done now. A bunch are in the can. I got to schedule them to go up. But um, that is where we can demonstrate what it's like to get a very in-depth reading. And then the parties are places where we can be a little bit more playful. And I have a group on Facebook called Tarot Talk and Travel. And so Tarot Talk and Travel is kind of the orientation of it in various um, iterations. And I also do personal challenges as well as challenges for communities in terms of learning and um, discovering yourself. So that's where it's at. And uh, my business is called Follow Your Road. And so you can find me at followyourroad.com and I've got a Follow Your Road group. And I look forward to seeing you either in Follow Your Road or Tarot Talk and Travel. And obviously I need to focus on what my focus is. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh, seven <laughs> seconds left. That was good. Oh my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I've never been good with time. Good. So that's a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> So good. Okay, so we're going to do uh, Sherry and then Delisa and then Tim. If you guys want to turn, uh, go ahead and raise your hand. Uh, now I can't. Thank you, out. Allison. That was great. Now I can't figure out how to do the time. Thank you for providing this forum. This is a fantastic yeah. thing. I look forward to doing this all the time. This is a great group. <laughs> so thank fun. you. Okay, Sherry, you are up. <laughs> okay, this is where I struggle trying to do like tell who I am and what I do in a short period of time. Um, but I am a bookkeeper who specializes in services that offer freedom, peace, and time to my clients. I owned my own boutique and coffee shop for 13 years, did my own books. That is why I chose this route when I closed and came home. Um, but I do struggle with coming up with the words, you know, on how to describe myself and what services I offer and all of that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if somebody could help with that or, you know, I just, got, I have a hard one, time talking, you know, even I've got one person. quick suggestion. Yes. Um, Sherry, because one of the things you said, you said you have a, you help people that um, are looking for more time freedom because you're doing the bookkeeping, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. So just uh, um, just off the top of my head, what I thought would have been great is if when you start your talk to someone and they say, what do you do? Say, well, are you a person that would love to have more time in your life? Mm. And then everybody's going to say yes. And you say, well, you know, that's great because that's what I help people do. I'm a, uh, and then you can say, you know, you're a bookkeeper. You can say all the other little things that you said about it. Cause people won't really care how you get them there, but they are starving for more time. And so I think to me, that's the first thing that came up for me as you were talking. And then that you don't even, you wouldn't even have to spend your two minutes on that. You get people thinking that you're going to be able to give them more time in their life. And they're going to be, um, I'll be over here when you get finished because uh, I need to talk to you kind of thing. All right. Thank you very much. I like that. So good time. Okay. So Sherry, this is great. You could tell Margie, you just pitched your business to how many it's people are here. True. So Put your contact info in the um in the in the chat, and then you could put your LinkedIn profile too. And everyone that's on LinkedIn, friend her. How fun is this? Okay. This is so Thank great. Thank you. And take a picture. Feel free to take a picture because you could post this in the group as your dare for Margie's group. Yeah. So and Charletta, I am so sorry. Are you okay with? I'm gonna do Delisa and then um and then Tim. And, and Kimmy said her hand's not working for some oh, reason. Okay. Okay. Cool. So we'll do. Uh, Delisa, Tim, Charletta, and then Kimmy. Okay, there we go. 
Vicky, you're good with that. Remember that. <laughs> We're just going to continue this on. We're good. Okay. Okay, Delisa. <laughs> okay. Before you um, put me on timer, can I just say something really quick? Oh, yeah. Sure. Um, for for Oswald, um, I think the one of the things for him is to um, do it in front of a mirror. Mm. Tom, in front of a mirror. I used to stutter really bad. Um, I still have a little tick, but that's what helped me to get out of stuttering. I used you know, to sit and talk to myself I, in the mirror. Yeah. You know what I love you guys. So I think you're all in the stand up and stand out community. Like this is what this is. Like you're helping each other, like be more visible. And so in addition to that, like anyone that's not on the zoom, I'd love you to post that and in, in the group, right, Vicki, like in the mm -hmm. Stand up and stand out community and just say, oh, the Zoom was, hopefully you'll say it was great or just a mess, <laughs> either way. <laughs> and then uh, and then I wanted to give this advice to Oswald and anyone else that might need it. I love I love that. So thank you for that because I didn't actually um, think of that until I just heard you give that. <laughs> so just so you know. Okay, ready and go. All right, well, my name is Delisa Seals. I live in a little small town in Sebring and I'm a head clerk in the library in Sebring. And um, right now, um, I am working on my one woman show about my grandmother. It's a one woman play. I'm practically finished with it. I um, need to stop adding to it. Um, I'm an author. I self published my poetry book, um, Clearing the Room. It's on Amazon. I'm just doing everything creative now that I need to do. My youngest child is 18, he just graduated from high school. So all I have is time. Um, so I'm starting storytelling again on stage. I'm part of a storytelling group here in Ohio. So um, I haven't done it in a year because I've been busy being a football mom. So um, I'm also in the library since we have a smaller branch. I am helping local authors since I my book will be in the Sebring Library. Um, I'm helping local authors. Um, get into the library system as long as their books are on Amazon. I have a connection at the library that will buy the books. So I am setting up a section in the mm -hmm. library to help other authors get into the library and get their book visible. Um, so um, I've been contacting the local poetry center here in Youngstown and working with them and getting more diversity into the libraries with, with different books and different genres um, and working with other um, editors, trying to get people's books out there. Um, and just, I mean, whatever comes up, whatever God has for me in this season, I'm just open. And I just love this group and Stacy and everything that, you know, taking me out of my comfort zone because I normally would never have done podcasts or did any of this stuff. And I've done five podcasts already because of this group. So there you go. That's it. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh my gosh, the meat. And the timer just went off. So that was perfect. Great. All right. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember who's next? No, I said you're going to have to remember what she said because I don't. <laughs> Charlotta was, I think Charlotta, Charlotta was. Different. Thank you. Oh, yeah. The person before, remember the person after you. <laughs> All right. We'll make a note for next time. We got to track this somehow. But, yeah. And um, you said, I know you said Kimmy. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So Charlotta, Kimmy, and then Tim. Okay. Ready? Okay. And Charlotta, are you good? I can't see you. Are you just on audio? <laughs> And yeah, Wendy, thanks for the wow. It's like, I'm in mode of like two minutes that I'm like not even honoring the, oh my gosh, you guys are all amazing with the stuff that you're doing. <laughs> Hola, can you, can you oh, hear good. me? Yes, yes, we hear you. You're good. We, we can't see you. We can hear you. No, I know, I know. Look, it's three o'clock in the morning and I'm in bed, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bless you. So I'm afraid you're not going to see me in the dark in, on my, in my pajama. And that's not part of the two minutes, okay? <laughs> I gotta stop it then. Gotta... <laughs> okay, let's do the two minutes. Stop. Congratulations for being here. It shows your yes, level. yes, so definitely. Thank you. Okay, I'm hitting start now. <laughs> All right. So uh, my name is Carlotta. I'm originally from Spain, uh, and I'm over to uh, Australia, Sydney. So it's the South Hemisphere, and uh, I am a transformative uh, wellness coach. I founded my uh, business uh, um, 
nine years ago under Help La Senora. And I'm interested in everything to do with health. And I'm passionate about health and happiness. I'm going to start a research uh, to find out uh, how uh, it's going to happen. And if there is really a connection between health and happiness. And uh, look, um, I just start, thanks to the day program, to actually start to do real on Facebook. Yeah, and it's only 90 seconds. So the two minutes, it's fine. I'm not used to the two minutes, the, 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 the 90 seconds. But it's amazing to put yourself out there. And if you're passionate, it comes. It's that simple. So just speak about what you like. Be yourself. Simply be yourself. Hmm. That's what I would suggest. And to Vicky, I wish you Feliz Compleanos, which means happy birthday. Aw, thank we you. Are. <laughs> so good. So good. And 22 seconds left. That was amazing. <laughs> thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for staying up with us, too. Okay. Uh, I think it was Kimmy and then Tim and then Neil and then Wendy and then Wendy. Okay. So you guys make it easier. So I'm just going to say Wendy and you're going to know who I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Between you and me, Vicky, we got this, right? <laughs> All right. So now I forgot who it was, Kimmy. <laughs> now talk. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. So let's get that two minutes going, girl. <laughs> Wait, okay, so what am I? So today, as you can see, I'm at work. I'm a medical biller for a local hospital. Um, I'm also a health and wellness coach in First Fitness. And that's when I utilize Vicky's affirmations with my group because they need that. They don't, I talk about do the thing all the time. I always talk about stand up and stand out. Um, and they just look at me and since I've been in it, and as a compliment to you, Stacy uh, and Vicky, since I've been in the groups, um, one of my leaders uh, had to take a hiatus because her husband had passed away a couple months ago. So she stepped aside. So I just pulled the reins, man, and I just took charge. And so now I'm like holding down these meetings. So it's like they noticed since I've been with you guys, a change in me. So there's positives for both of you. And again, happy birthday. Uh, let's Thank see you. what else. So just, I'm getting the podcast around. I will be starting that. Um, I'm looking to do the 15th. Life is kind of taking a toll on me. So I'll do the 15th, get it going. And um, what else? Deepers. Oh, and I'm a grandmother again, two more times. I got a granddaughter that's four months and I got a grandson that's over a week. Wow. So I got four beautiful or no, five beautiful grandkids now. And um I can't wait to finish doing our challenges and do the thing singles and dating again. And I just, I love sharing everything with our, you know, anybody I talk about do the thing and it's like, come on, don't wait for the opportunity, create it, you know, get off your butt and do something. And what else have I done? Oh, I've joined the YMCA so I can, you know, I'm down 30 pounds. So I'm just going to keep working at it. So I have lots of goals. Hi, I'm so good. This is amazing. Amazing. Oh, yes, you guys, let's do the, you're already doing that, but let's, cause I'm in like timer mode. Let's all like, after the person goes, we're going to all, and you're doing it already, but I'm not, <laughs> but you're going to like celebrate them. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll have a stand up, stand out song. I mean, who knows what this is going to be. You're at the beginning yeah. of like something cool, you know, <laughs> the stand up, stand out event. Okay. We're going to get back on track. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, are you up next? I don't remember. <laughs> I think so. Okay, good. Okay. Two minutes on. <laughs> All right. Let, let me first introduce you to paper and pencil. <laughs> Write it down. Just make a list. You know, <laughs> it's, it's very, you know, those are new inventions. So anyway, um, uh, and then there down there, uh, Samsung Kimmy, uh, uh, congratulations on your babies and, uh, your weight loss, that is fantastic. Keep it up. Um, another thing which uh, Stacy would know about this also is if you want to be time, Toastmasters will time you, but stand-up comedy. Take a stand-up comedy class. 
and sometimes you only have two minutes. But those are all great ways to get on a timer and uh, practice and get it down. Uh, economy of words. Myself, I help professionals achieve freedom from alcoholism is what I'm working towards. I got a book coming out next month, The Seven Secret Pillars of Sobriety, When AA Doesn't Work for You. Mm -hmm. So uh, I can already tell by being in this room, some of you have a problem. So go ahead and sign up with me. Uh, you know, uh, and, and another suggestion, don't show up to Zoom drunk, okay? It's, it's just like going to the office. Uh, and there's some ups and abs and everything. But anyway, that is pretty much uh, my time and what I want to say. So good. And you got 36 seconds left. I would have never Ooh. imagined us running, us, us having extra time, Tim, for you. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you that missed it, uh, Tim has a TED Talk. Uh, I'll post it because I know some of you came on after. I'll post it in the comments, too. And uh, and then make sure you look for Sherry's uh, LinkedIn profile um, is in there as well as Tim. And feel free to share any links of what you're talking about right now as well. OK, 11 seconds. There you go. See, I had to take up your time. All right, and Neil. Yes, hello, hello, ladies. Um, my name is Neil, Neil Babulal. Um, I grew up in business. My parents owned and operated businesses. So I gravitated toward business all my life. So I own and operate my own brick and mortar business for the last 35 years. And um, I recently launched my um, pet supply um, business online on Amazon. It's a pet travel mat. So the love for dogs made me go in this direction because my wife and I grew up with dogs. She grew up with dogs with her family and I grew up with dogs all my life. So it was the perfect pitch to, to, to go into e-commerce was to use, use the pet from the pet, pet, pet space and get where, where I am and um, I enjoy what I do. I love learning. I'm learning a lot from you all. Ladies, um, this is out of my comfort zone, Secret, um, totally. But I'm learning and I'm getting more confident in myself. So that's that's where I am, and I'm thankful for you all. And it, it's an amazing group of people, and and I love being around and listening and 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 reading all the comments and stuff. It's amazing, Stacy. So thank you again and happy birthday, Vicky, and enjoy the rest of your day. Have a wonderful day. From the thank you, Jackie Neil. and Joe and Tech Brown here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Okay. So good. All right. So we have a uh, Wendy M. Wait, we missed our other Wendy. <laughs> she go? Did she go? There? Yeah. We'll do Wendy M and then we'll see. Okay. Yeah. Cause team Wendy in the house all the time <laughs> and stand up, stand out. Uh, there's actually, I think, four of us total, but usually at least two of us in any gathering, right? right. Um, so I'm Wendy McDowell. I am the relationship nerd. I am all over your social media. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I'm everywhere. Um, because what I do is so important. I help long-term entrepreneurial couples who have kind of hit that point in their life where they're just really having a hard time connecting. They're so busy and they've gotten bad habits and they just are butting heads and getting nowhere. Um, they've built up a lot of resentment maybe over time. And I help them unravel that and get back to being really in love with each other. And the beautiful part of that working with entrepreneurs is that then they have the energy they need to put into their business. So it's a win-win all the way around. Um, it's hard to put a lot of energy into a business that you love and care for if you are exhausted from constant fighting with your significant other. So, um, it's just kind of a, um, unique perspective that I have coming in because I am in that same position myself. I came through some really bad relationship stuff early on in my life. And so I've kind of lived it <laughs> and had to learn the hard way. And so my goal is to help people to learn and grow without going through quite so much drama is what I had to go through. So I'm here to help them with their communication, to help them figure out what's important to them, how to get on the same page, how to really connect deeply so that they can have each other's back all the time. And that's what I do. And it's amazing. And I love it. I just love getting up and going to work every single day. <laughs> Beautiful. So good. 10 seconds to spare. That's amazing. Woo! 
I okay. usually have a minute. So I'm like, okay, what else can I say? <laughs> <laughs> and feel free. Like, and again, this is stand up. I'm now I'm mixing the collaboration group that I have with Vicky stand up and stand out, but like, feel free to like, um, if you guys know anyone that like, you know, it doesn't have to be just you, right? Like, so if, if you guys know anyone that's struggling with their bookkeeping, like let them know about Sherry. If you know anyone that's wants some help with a relationship, you know, uh, let them know it, about Wendy. And so, so use this space, or if you love Tim's TEDx talk and you say how much you love it, then feel free to share it with your personal page. So just kind of like use this space as a way to like, um, nurture each other and, and get to know too, because it's a great way to um, not only get visibility, but also a uh, network and get to know everyone. Um, so, okay. So, uh, Jean, I'm going to be annoying. Do you want to, do you want to share? It was just like, I know it came on late, but like, it's just two minutes. You could say like either what you struggle about sharing about your, your, your thing, or it could be your actual pitch, whichever way you want to go. <laughs> I Since I have a choice. <laughs> I will share the challenges I'm having. And that is, I know what I do, but I don't know how to pitch it or put it in a form that sounds reasonably reasonable. Because what I, I am an intuitive listener, and I listen to ladies who are going through something, who have lost their, not lost their way, but lost their dreams, their passion, and they want to, I help them, I listen to where they are and walk with them and guide them into what that passion is and how to get it started. But how do I say that? I mean, what's an intuitive listener? What do you do? I mean, the question is, well, what do you do? Just listen? So that's my challenge. Hmm. So I got a question for you, Jean. So the people that you've done this with, yes. what did they say afterwards? After what was their response to you changed my life? You did this kind of thing. No, the, the people that I work with, they're, they're referrals. So they come in, they don't care what it's called. It's like, okay, finally I find someone who will listen to me and they will say, oh, I never thought of that. Oh, I can try this. I will do this and I will do this and that will get me back on the road. That That's the typical thing is you listen to me. You heard what I said and you feel where I am. So I listen to you. Hmm. Maybe that's your superpower. Yeah. Because the first thing that's coming up for me, and I'll just share real quick if that's okay, is that maybe um, instead of trying to explain what you do, explain what they're dealing with. So it would be, do you ever find yourself where you're trying to talk to someone and they never understand what you're saying? Do you find yourself where you know that people are not actually listening? And so you can't get the communication going. Maybe start with something like that. So that's their pain point. They, they recognize that. And typically, if you can say, well, I've got the solution for you, then, you know, it's like, okay, I don't really care how you get the solution, but give it to me kind of thing. So that's what's coming up for me. Does anybody else have any suggestions on how Jean could maybe communicate this? And I had a question on, uh, and I love this, by the way, and we're giving extra time because right now we're, Jean has just opened up. Um, that's why I make her go because she always opens up new things that then give me ideas to like <laughs> on what could help everyone, which is so great. But uh, it's like almost like I've I've had this too where I pitch something and no one no one understands what I'm and I everyone understood what you were talking about, but people have questions when I say something. And so then by their by them asking me questions, it helps me um then actually like verbalize it better. And so um I did have a question though on what, what you're offering. So are you offering that you're the ear? Like, because like no one gets listened to, right? In the world, not no one, but it's very hard to have someone that actually like hears you. They always want to give you advice, you know, on like whatever it is. And so it sounds like what you're doing is you're by intuitive listening, you're able to like see the person 
and you're able to hear the person, whereas they might not ever have felt seen and heard. So is that the piece that you're offering? Or are you offering the teaching of the intuitive listening? No, I'm offering the piece of listening to them. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. That's so right. in some ways you help them come up with their own solution just by yes. listening. Yes. Because once they realize that someone sees them, hears them, understands them, then they are willing to take that first step out to go where they're a dreaming of going. Yeah. That's it. That's it. We're, we're, we have this recorded. That was it. What you just said. Don't you guys love what she just said? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what yeah. you just said was like it. That was it, Jean. That was so good. <laughs> that was so good. Yeah. Nice <laughs> <day. laughs> so I'm good. glad you are recording it. <laughs> no, yeah. No, no. yeah yeah so perfect really yeah so okay lynn did you want to go i don't see you visually but uh feel free so, to i see wendy's hand still up are oh, you needing something or did you just not take your hand down <laughs> okay sorry just want to make sure <laughs> oh lynn okay on lunch okay got it okay cool in the community by way of cc oh thank you that's so good oh i love that thank you so much um okay so um Vicki, so we weren't planning on doing this, but then I was like, I've been putting it off. So I don't know. Do you want to, like, this is a good time to practice the one to many uh, <laughs> in between. Sure. So one of the things, like, this is a great, we, we feel like standing up and standing out is so many different levels um, to do it, right? It's from getting visibility with, like, I mentioned this earlier, and some of you that know me know this, but I, when I had my podcast, 80 episodes was, like, no video on. I wasn't even comfortable with, like, the video being on. And so to go from that to, like, then doing stand-up comedy now, a TEDx talk in, like, just, like, two years is kind of, like, crazy, you know? And so... Um, I, I always like to um, kind of like say, like, it's these like small incremental steps, right? And so many of you, first of all, I want to congratulate you guys for, um, yeah, just even being here uh, and doing that. And it is cool because like we have people like Tim who've done TEDx talks to people who are just like turning on the Zoom for the first time. And so that's what's nice about like these kinds of spaces is now you guys have this place of encouraging and supporting each other. And so another way of being visible is to have who's to master the skill of selling one to many and inviting people to a, uh, a an experience, whether it be a paid challenge, a program, um, or even inviting them to join um, your community, right? And so uh, something uh, we're doing with Do The Thing is, I will show you just a quick little visual and I'm going sideways, but I feel it's for a main purpose is um, we are um, helping people build their online community with like what I did my um, TED talk on. And someone did this really cool visual, I'll just kind of share, um, which is basically um, really being with people who have a shared goal. And that's why we call them my people. And so one of the, the, the ways that I've learned is the way to build an engaged community of people who really um, feel safe with each other and are open to sharing is to have the founding members go through the Find Your Voice Challenge. And so Vicki is now opening the invitation up. This is what uh, Sherry's doing right now in my friend Margie's group. And even though this specific challenge will be done in the main Do The Thing group, um, eventually she will put it into the Stand Up and Stand Out group. But there is a a fee involved, but it's, it's, uh, the, it's kind of ridiculous with like what it is, but so she's going to now practice because she hasn't done this invitation yet. Um, and this will be her pitch. Is that good? And I'll time you too. So it won't be longer than two minutes. We didn't even plan this. We didn't even know this was happening. <laughs> yes, I did not know this was yeah. happening. Uh, <laughs> so, um, Oh my gosh, feeling like put on the spot for yeah. goodness sakes. Oh my, oh my. Um, so let, let me oh, and I wanted together. to say, like some of you are already in there. So like Kimmy and Jean and Oswald yeah. and uh where else? Oh, Charlotta's just joined and uh some people have already like joined. So anyway. So, so this is the joining my group or joining so the I think like the invitation we can open because I haven't opened the doors yet. So this allows me to open the doors for find your voice this moment. Okay, okay. All right. So in the community, it is called <laughs> Stand Up and Stand Out. And one of the things that people typically have a hard time with, with standing up and standing out, is getting in front of people and speaking. And that comes from limiting beliefs and all the different things in their lives. 
And so this amazing find your voice challenge that we've got coming up is so amazing with helping people to step out of their comfort zone, get in touch with who they really are inside. And it takes you through dares, daily dares that actually really stretch your thoughts of who you think you are so that when you complete the find your voice challenge, you feel so much more confident, whether it's standing up on stage or going to a networking event or having a first date, talking to someone you don't know in a coffee shop, whatever it is, it, it helps you with doing that. And so it is amazing. Um, I've done it. Um, there are people in here that have done it. And the, the thing is, this is such a low price point that I was just kind of blown away. It is, what is it, $47, $49? $7, yeah. $47. And that gets you the daily dares, and it's an on-demand course. So you get daily videos that give you dares that you do. And then one of the things that I'm offering to anybody that... Um, invest in the um, the Find Your Voice Challenge through my link is that I'm actually giving them, we're going to have a WhatsApp group that is specifically for us that we can support each other. And then we're going to do a couple of Zooms where we're going to connect like we're connecting right here. And it's going to be so amazing to be able to um, be there in that space with all of you people that are part of the of the group, or even if you're not part of the group yet, oh my gosh, the uh, the gifts that you get, <laughs> the gifts that you get for being part of Find Your Voice is something that'll last you a lifetime. Yay, so good, good job. What do you guys think? I went about, over. <laughs> what do you think about her invitation? So she'll be doing this probably for the, the week. So that's like the first time, that was amazing by the way. The first time that she's offering it. I'll we, never be able to repeat the whole thing, right? Yeah. Well, I think it's just, you want it to be an invitation that, I mean, that's for me, the whole selling one to many skill was something that I'm still learning, you know, and so having a safe space to do this and also offering the invitation does feel kind of fun. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so, so thank you for doing that. And uh, I'd love to hear too, in terms of these stand up and stand out parties, uh, what you guys think, do you, would you want this to be like a regular kind of thing? Or do you like, 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 do you like the format? Obviously, it would be more time having you talk and things like that. And uh, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, so feel free to share that too. And then I don't know if you have your link, Vicky, but feel free to share that with, with people as well. And if not, they can just reach out to you and you can let them know. I'm sure it's going to be open. We're pretty much, we just opened the doors just now. I haven't, I haven't even opened it in my group yet. So uh, this is the, like uh, Charletta uh, joined from, um, I was testing it in another group. And so anyway, we're all good there. See, concisus is not my strong language either. <laughs> so, um, okay. Anything else? Where are we, where are we at? What do we want to do, Vicki? How are we closing right. it up? Should we sing a song? I am. I, I think I've got the right one, the right link. Okay. I grabbed it real quick to oh, stick perfect. in there. Great. So um, if anybody wanted to, uh, to share something really quick before we get off, that is something that they feel like going forward, they would definitely like to see more of, then I would love to hear it. Um, why are you laughing? Did I say I'm something? Laughing at Tim. Sorry. I'm laughing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For anyone watching the recording, Tim said, need another challenge. Stacy, sit down and be silent. <laughs> <laughs> I have found my voice, Tim. <laughs> Don't the quiet the magic. And the next person. Yeah. Yeah. So did anybody um, have something? And if not, oh, Tim, go ahead. I would like to have a, a re-attack, a, a re-visit, uh, you know, helping people out. I believe with the speaking and stuff is going to be Toastmasters, uh, do an improv or stand up class and videotape yourself mm. uh, just in your house of what your presentation is and, and go ahead and do that. Now, for you folks that have a podcast, if you want to hear a sad story of a little white kid uh, getting beat up and, and drinking and turning into an alcoholic, I'm your person. Mm. I'm out. <laughs> oh, you reminded me. We also have the start, start a podcast workshop that's included with Find Yes, that's right. Yeah. 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 So good. Oh, and then how about, does anyone want to, before and we'll end in just a few minutes, because I know we've gone longer than we thought, but does anyone want to just share a quick takeaway from like today and 
how it felt to just be in this experience with all of us and doing what we're doing. If there's anything that's coming alive for you, um, I'll share mine is I just am excited because we decided to do that. Well, we heard the idea from Janie when Vicky was in San Diego with Janie and Allison and some others that came for the my TED talk, but uh, Janie Kate gave the idea. And then I think we just decided on Friday or something yeah. not long ago. And then I originally wasn't even going to do anything, but I'm like, wait, it's your birthday. Stand up, stand out party. That sounds so fun. You know? And so that's when this happened. So I'm just excited about like when you get people on a zoom and you get to see the magic that comes and it doesn't come from perfection. It comes from you just like kind of figuring it out. And it just constantly reminds me like how beautiful life can be when we're able to just be open to being who we are and connecting with each other in this like deep personal way um, without having this like show, you know, that we think we need to have when we're with people. And I just, um, I love that. And I love that we got to like honor Vicki on her birthday. She's meant so much to me um, with the stuff that I've been doing. Cause not only she talks about how much I've helped her, but in the process, it's like, you meet these people that are like meant to be in your path. And she's helped me through so many things that I can't even like begin to tell you the most recent thing was the TED talk, but there was even like, I still remember last Christmas, I was like really lonely. I'm divorced. I have a boyfriend, but he had his kids. And anyway, it was like a whole thing. And she had a zoom in her group and got me reconnected. And I was with Anne Marie and so many different people during that time on the zoom that you created that I wouldn't have even known what was going on. And so you just have this beautiful way also of like bringing people together and, uh, and the hypnosis you do is like, off the charts because it's gotten me to really um help through like all of the stuff that can come up when you're going through new things so um anyone else want to share I just did a long one sorry <laughs> uh just a yes. reflection yeah I would like I would like to share I think we're having fun and I think that's part of life this this is fantastic I mean, that it's about an engagement, a wedding, a birthday, whatever, or even, uh, you know, just the joy of being alive. And I think that's what shows me in the two minutes. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's a good challenge. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> Beautiful. So good. <laughs> Anybody else want to share? Oh, good. Wendy? Yep. Um, I have had opportunity through different coaching groups and stuff that I'm involved in to do stuff kind of like this, but it's so, so pressure driven so much, like get it right. You have to be just so like, I came in here, like, I don't even have any makeup on today and that's okay. I, you know, I, I turned my camera on because I looked up in the room. I was like, Hey, it's cool. I can be me. <laughs> and so I just want to say, um, I really appreciate that, that we, can connect in this way and really value each other for who we are and what we have to offer, not that we're necessarily perfect people. And so thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, anybody else? Oh, good. Sherry. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say thank you because I also agree. I, as you know, I came to the room in my pajamas because I haven't had a shower or anything today with our water issues and I was going to keep blocked off, but I thought, why not? I'll join in and who cares? And I've liked the energy of the group and just being in here. It's much easier. I've only done a few other zoom meetings with, or events on Alignable. They're all with, you know, other business people, but they're all just very professional. And I like that everyone was just kind of themselves here and we could laugh and, you know, say what we could or couldn't say. So thank you very much for putting this in the challenge so that I could join and be a part of this today. Ah, thank you for being here. So good. And Allison, and then I think Kimmy, you had your actual hand up. So we'll do Allison and then Kimmy. Just that I think that this is a fantastic opportunity you're providing for everybody. I certainly welcome it and realize how far I have to go to figure out what it is that I'm doing to be able to pitch it to somebody. So um, I, I, I appreciate the opportunity and I didn't understand it when I showed up and I totally understand it about 10 minutes in. I'm like, this has to go on on a weekly basis or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not okay. to give you more work or anything. Vicky, That's right. Our fearless leader, so to speak, you know? <laughs> so 
so fun. I know. I don't even know. I feel like I want to like do this with you. It's so fun. It's like, yeah, so it is. Be the Stacy and Vicky show. That's right. <laughs> and Kimmy. <laughs> I just want to say thank you guys for the invite and to be a part of this group. Yes, I. this is why I joined it over a year ago. And to, you know, be part of the other groups that branched off, it's, it makes you feel safe. And you can be yourself. And it has been fun. And um, the Tim, who was talking about Vicky <laughs> notes this lady, something about dating him, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. <laughs> I know. Yes, I <laughs> I was going to say that's going to be funny for the people like watching the recording because Tim keeps putting all these like hilarious comments and like I'm just like cracking up out of nowhere, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, thank you for today, Vicki. Another happy birthday. And it's been a blast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay. So, we're going to sing. Yeah. We're going to sing. <laughs> all right. Well, since we all like know and love each other now, all right. So, it's the happy birthday. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy <laughs> oh my god all right well thank you guys for joining and do you want to do you'll do your sign off and then i'll do my sign off i don't know what it is but like the stand up and stand out or whatever you want to do yeah let's do it <laughs> uh, i don't have a one other than i just tell them goodbye so yeah you do yours and i'll jump in yeah jump in but say something about stand up and stand out party so i'll do mine and then something about that because this is a thing okay ready okay. So all right it'll be like okay do the thing don't wait for opportunity. Create it. Create it. <laughs> and stand up and stand out adventures all the time. Oh, yes. The time. There I you like go. <laughs> it was created here. You guys remember. That's right. That's right. I got to write thank that you down. so much. Amazing. <laughs> so good to see you guys. Okay. Bye, you guys. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>